No, 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 not, not, not you, Seamus. Ah, poo.
And that's all I have to announce. Bye. Mira, ahí está Subo. Hola, Subo. Ayúdenme, hijos de puta. Sin grosería, Subo. Ahora no quiero ayudarte. Oh, siempre pierdo. Sí. Te tengo. Oh. Oye, Tinger, la puta madre que te. Ah, estará bien. Right into the show. Digital Circus trying out filters. Who's first? Ah! This filter is easy. I can do this in my... As I was saying, I can do this in my sleep. Stop! Who is next for trying out filters? Ah! Oh, did you know? A lot of adult beetles actually enjoy watermelon. Would you look at that? Who is next on our filter journey? Ah! I bet I'm like a cherry. Something nice. Something... What the hell is that? And who is last on our filter journey? That's so funny because... Oh wow, a career. If I ever make it out of this place, maybe I will have a career, huh? Yay! I take requests, so make sure to send some in. Much love. Isn't that right, Bubble? That's all right, Kane. Frisky! Yeah. De Terrible Digital Circus es un programa en vivo, dirigido a adolescentes y audiencias mayores. Conocido por su violencia explícita y lenguaje sin censura, el show presenta aventuras peligrosas similares a juegos mortales. Los concursantes reaparecen tras cada muerte, pero la experiencia repetida de morir los cambia profundamente. Kaine, también conocido como Mr. Jotopic, dirige el show y busca maximizar su popularidad a través del sufrimiento extremo de los participantes. 
Aunque parece frío, Kaine se preocupa por los concursantes para evitar que se abstraigan. Las mortales aventuras en el circo digital generan tensiones y cambios emocionales significativos en los concursantes. La historia explora la supervivencia, la naturaleza humana y las consecuencias psicológicas de estar atrapado en un ciclo interminable de muerte y resurrección. Is he gonna acknowledge that one? I gotta get used to this. Oh, looks like one of these guys made it through. Wait, what? Wait, what? I know you guys love your NPCs, but if I start losing track of who's a human and who's an NPC, who they killed him. What could happen? They killed Gumiku. I'm gonna go drink water. It's been a while since I've done that. Oh hey. Jeez, never leave. I'm really sorry about that, Pommy. Yeah, At um. you tried. You know, he might be back in a future adventure. I know Kane sometimes likes to reuse NPCs. Is that their way of saying he's gonna be back? I hope. I kind of like the Gummy Goo. Got everything. Thank God he's he's just just Get, Get away from him! Girls, one at a time, please. Thank you. <laughs> Get in the line, miss. Huh? Oh, yeah. I don't care about him. I just love the money so much. Isn't it, Green Little Worm? monster. Having a blast, but okay, it's time to get Whoa! everything back huh? to normal. Yeah. Yes, and now a perfect catch. I thought I was about to fall. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. What am I going to do? Guys, I got an idea. <laughs> oh. oh, please, <laughs> this is so lovely. I know your kisses. Oh no, they're back. Stephanie! Ah, somebody help! No! Don't touch! Ouch! My thief! Let me out of here! Oh my god, this is finally happening! This is true love, my man! This is the best day of my life! Yeah, me too, and now... <clears throat> With all my powers, I declare this a wedding! Oh, so cute! All oh, my best friends are getting married! Gangle, you're uh, there are too many clowns here. Oh, the two are so romantic. Oh, and now you can kiss the bride. Mm, is this really necessary? <laughs> I've been waiting for this. I love you. Mm, well, if I need to do this, I'll do it. Here's what's me. Yeah, come not to 
kill a few ex fools. I don't think this people is stupid. What are you talking about? Silence! I get it now. You are trying to ruin me. Oh, you are no. no, trust me. He's lying to you. You can tolerate a word and Maybe you need some sugar hey, in your. Uh, you throwing huh? the cake away? <laughs> no, mm. no. You got to believe me. Oh. That's not enough. He's being honest. You bastard! He's not okay. We're about to. Oh, maybe this may be right. right. Yeah, that's right! Are you okay, Jax? Yes, thank you. Now I'll tell you all the story. Oh. It all started when <laughs> Pony approached me. She tried to hide her therapy, so she just laughed and saluted me. <sighs> so sorry. Hey, hi, Pony. You're looking great today. I mean, you always look great. You know it, right? I <laughs> always. <laughs> that cough must so it all. <laughs> Oh my god, the girl I really like is with that freaking rabbit trying to take my ribbon! Thank you for the kind words. Um, I have something for you. No <laughs> Here. flowers! I oh, thank god you're okay. You didn't experience a game show in there, did you? Uh, I... What are you talking about? <laughs> It's just Kofmo. Don't worry about it. Kofmo abstracted? Nah, he's fine. You're right! How are we gonna get out of here? Guys, over there. Huh. Ladies first. No, wait, why would I say that? <laughs> wait, Pommy's not even here? Wasn't this whole thing for her? Be quiet. I can't hear the escalator. Always know how to make me say this exact sentence. Yes! An alert on my wacky watch at this hour? Oh no! Someone's venturing out into the void! They'll get totally spoiled! There you go! Now what the heck happened around here? Oh yeah, my doing. Kane! Kofmo went through a sort of cockmosis and abstracted! Kofmo abstracted? Why didn't anybody tell me? <laughs> and into the cellar you go! Man, I can't believe Kofmo just gave up like that. I mean, no offense, Kinger, but I always thought you would be next. Thank you. Guess it just goes to show you can't rely on Kinger for anything. I am in so much pain! <laughs> I do have to apologize for lying about the exit. I knew how much all of you have been wanting there to be one, but, you know, 
I was having so much trouble figuring out what to put on the other side and ended up never quite finishing it. And you know how I never like letting people see my unfinished work, especially if it leads you out into the void. Anyway, looks like you defeated the Gloit Queen, so I guess the adventure's over. Your reward is a delicious digital feast cooked by our head bubble chef. Mm, and with all the love I'm legally allowed to give. You know, I am pretty hungry. You didn't even do anything. So what? I can still be hungry. Well, not really, because we don't need to eat, drink, or sleep in this digital world. So the digital food here only gives off the virtual sensation of eating without any of the nutritional benefits. Sheesh, lay off it. Since when are you an expert on the digital world? Expert on the what? This little game of yours, thank the stars it's over. Did you have fun? Did you get everything out of your system? I good, good. Everyone is so relieved. Welcome home, pig. I love you. 
my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Меня ебаный, давай по новой. Стоп! Again? Oh yeah. Left, right, 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 left, 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 right, left again. Close your eyes. Now open your eyes. Well, let's see what they choose. What the fuck? Perasaan tadi udah bayar token listrik deh Kok tiba-tiba jadi mati lampu ya? Sumpah ih, ngeri aku jadi takut kalau sendirian Pasti nanti ada hantu, aku takut banget ah! Pondi, lu kontu! Kontu! Lu tau kontu kan? Ngerti nggak? Dibilangin jangan asal masuk minimal ketuk pintu atau ucap salam Kaget gua ngentok
first, but I assure you, that's still me. I always come back. Oh my god. Lanzo la caja. Ok, esto es lo que quiero ver. Esto es lo que necesitamos ver, chicos. Madre mía, mirad cuántas cajas habían realmente. Os lo he dicho, que este era mucho más impresionante de lo que parecía. ¡Wow! ¡Wow! Cayeron muchísimas cajas con Huggy. Aquí el único pendejo es Bonifacio. ¿Qué yo qué? Ya les dije, no hagan una pendejada, bueno, ahí nos vemos. Ya escucharon, pendejos, el primero que la cague va... Uy, polvo. Y llegamos a mí, cámara, pongas de chingones que llevan todo. <risa> ¡La verga está bien buena! No mames, creo que otra vez soy ne... Por fin tengo la energía para hacerme más de 50 chaquetas. Chicos, ayúdenme, Cupcake se está convulsionando. <risa> me lleva la Golden Bear. The first animatronic to jump scare me gets minus 5% power. Jump scare warning. Chica. Balloon boy. フレディ、熊のような外観をした機械人形です。フレディは深夜になると低く不気味な笑い声を発しながら、舞台からケービン室に向かって移動していきます。人間を発見すると、フレディは内側に様々な部品が詰まった着ぐるみをその人に無理や
He's gonna get me, he's gonna get me. Poppy! Ah, Poppy! Poppy? Listen, oh. I'm going to need you to trust me. Ah! <laughs> dia colik! Poppy, dia colik! Dia baru nak bisik dengan aku tadi, mahu tahu tak? Alah, malangnya nasib Poppy tu. Tangan merah saja semua. Okay, give me five! Ah! Dia salang aku! Tambah! Lepas tangan aku! Ya Allah, ni benda pula Musapa Hei Hei, popi aku Popi aku Bagi popi aku Diamu Kita main berapa jam dah ni? Satu jam 48 minit Okay Supaya uh, Popi oh, ya de Pop Playtime no Roblox. Ele se chama Flops Playtime e foi feito pela Top Games Factory. O jogo é muito fiel ao game original. Tem toda a ambientação da fábrica nos mínimos detalhes. Tem também as mãos que esticam, o Huggy Wuggy, 
e todos os puzzles com níveis de complexidade parecidos ao de Pop Playtime. Tem até o easter egg de que você é observado escondido pelo Hug. Fugir dele é bem assustador. No nosso canal do YouTube fizemos uma lista com os melhores jogos de Pop Playtime do Roblox. Vá lá assistir. Being chased by mommy long legs is terrifying. Oh my god! She's coming! Dude! Go run! Oh my days, I warned him! Oh my gosh, he saw me. Bro! Get your ankles, bro! Sucede al final del capítulo 3 de Poppy Playtime. Después de salir de la fábrica de gas, nos encontramos con Poppy y Kissy Missy. Finalmente logramos ver lo que ocurrió en el famoso evento The Hour of Joy a través de una cinta que reproduce la muñequita. En la grabación, podemos observar el día que todo se salió de control y cómo todos los juguetes comenzaron a rebelarse contra las personas. Poppy explica que todo es culpa del experimento 1006, también conocido como el prototipo, y que deben de tenerlo de una vez por todas. Ante esta emergencia, decidimos bajar por un ascensor junto con Poppy para buscar y enfrentar al prototipo. Sin embargo, mientras descendemos, Kissy Missy, quien se queda en los controles, comienza a gritar desesperadamente, indicando que alguien la está atacando. Entonces, al decidir regresar para ayudarla, ¡Vamos, vamos, más rápido! justo en ese momento, el capítulo termina. ¿Quién creen que atacó a la pobre Kissy Missy? ¿Acaso fue el prototipo o alguien más? Dejen sus teorías en los comentarios.
Playtime, capítulo 1 em 1 minuto. Os funcionários da fábrica de brinquedos Playtime desapareceram e você é um ex-funcionário que volta até a fábrica anos depois para encontrá-los. Você recebe uma fita que mostra o comercial da boneca Annabelle, quer dizer, quer dizer, Pop Playtime, e uma carta dizendo que os funcionários ainda estão na fábrica. Eles pedem para você encontrar a flor. Você entra na fábrica e encontra um brinquedo chamado Grab Pack. Esse brinquedo te permite destrancar novas portas. Depois de entrar no lobby, você se depara com um brinquedo medonho chamado Hug Wug. Ele está no centro do lobby. Enquanto você tenta destrancar uma porta, a luz do nada apaga e quando você liga a energia de volta, o demônio já não está mais no mesmo lugar. Você continua avançando e chega até uma máquina que pega partes de brinquedos e faz um brinquedo novo. Depois de fazer um brinquedo e entrar num corredor, o capeta do Hug Wug aparece novamente te perseguindo. Você corre dele desesperado até chegar numa ponte e derrubar uma caixa em cima dele. Após essa treta, você finalmente encontra a flor. Atravessando a porta, você entra numa casa antiga e na última sala você vê a boneca pop. Você liberta ela, a luz apaga e ela diz Você abriu minha caixa Tá porra, fiquei medo Querem ver o capítulo 2? Fala aí Deixa o like, meu consagrado. Welcome to your life. There's no turning back. Even while we sleep, we will find you acting on your best behavior. Turn your back on Mother Nature. Every wants to rule the world It's my own design It's my own remorse Help me to decide Help 
make the most of freedom and our pleasure. Nothing ever lasts forever. Everybody wants to rule the world. There's a room where the light won't find you. Holding hands while the walls come tumbling down. When they do, I'll be right behind you. So glad we've almost made it. What the hell? Looks like the train crash hurt us both. You deserve an explanation. Yes! Come on. Listen, I'm not your enemy. What's happening down here is bigger than all of us. And I need you. So we can get revenge on those monsters who've tortured you. Who've tortured us. Disciples of the original. The prototype. Hmm. That's the claw thing, right? That we saw at the end of the Do chapter the two? Prototype knows we're coming by now. If you try to escape, he'll kill you before you ever reach that front door. He's the reason I was trapped in that god awful case for so long. Let me help you kill him. Let me help you save everyone. We've all seen you. How capable you are. You killed Huggy. You killed. Huggy is definitely dead? 
You freed me. You are perfect for this. Hadnep is coming. He's the final obstacle the prototype has placed against us. We can't stay here. Keep yourself safe. Ollie will call you. This is too fluffy, bro. <laughs> Smiling critters. Things that are this happy bugs me. The wind's really scary. I can't sleep. Hey, we'll be okay, guys. I promise. Are these the toys that sit in Poppy away. Playtime? With the blood on them. Y'all don't lock y'all door. Oh! Catnap! Please help us go to sleep, Catnap. We need it, Catnap. Please help us sleep. Is this our new antagonist monster? Catnap? Dude, that gave me chills. This last scene bugged the heck out of me, bro. Hold on. <laughs> they not sleep, bro. They, they done. wrong we're actually here to help <sighs> this place makes her tense I'm glad that Ollie could help you get this far he's the reason we found you at all looks like the train crash hurt us both <sighs> you've been through so much you deserve an explanation. Come on. Hey, you'll be okay. We'll be okay. you leave what's happening down here is bigger than all of us and I need you so we can get revenge on those monsters who've tortured you who've tortured us they didn't act alone they're disciples of the original do the honors Prototype knows we're coming by now. If you try to escape, he'll kill you before you can't stop, Monty. Freddy, Freddy, please, Freddy, Freddy, now, now, Freddy, now, now, Freddy, 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 Freddy. Need Salut, je suis allé voir Five Nights at Freddy's au cinéma en français, 5 nuits chez Freddy. C'est le film qui va faire courir les foules durant cette période de l'Halloween. Et je te dis si ça vaut la peine d'aller voir au cinéma ou pas. Le film a fait beaucoup jaser dans les derniers jours, entre autres à cause d'une bagarre qui a éclaté durant un visionnement à Londres. Mais au moins, ils ont entendu le générique à la fin pour le faire. C'est un suspense d'horreur basé sur le populaire jeu vidéo et c'est réalisé par Emma Tammy qui avait réalisé The Win en 2018. Ça m'en veut d'être Josh Hutcherson, le fameux PETA dans les films de la série Hunger Games, Elizabeth Lill, qui avait joué Guinevere Beck dans la série You, et Matthew Lillard, qu'on connaît entre autres pour ses rôles dans les séries Scream et Scooby-Doo. 
Mike décide d'accepter un travail facile en tant que gardien de sécurité de nuit chez Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Il se prépare pour cinq nuits tranquilles près de son bureau, mais les caméras de surveillance détectent quelque chose d'inattendu. Petite confession en partant, je ne connaissais pas du tout le jeu vidéo avant de voir les promos pour ce film. Ce nouveau film n'est pas très violent et gore, c'est classé 13 ans et plus. On est pas mal dans la même veine que le film Megan sorti plus tôt cette année des mêmes producteurs. J'ai embarqué dans l'histoire rapidement. Josh Hutcherson est très bon dans le rôle principal et la petite Piper Rubio qui joue sa sœur se débrouille bien aussi. C'est lorsque l'humour embarque que ça fonctionne le mieux pour moi. C'est un film qui est pas très épeurant. Il y a à peu près 2-3 jumpscares pour faire sauter les gens dans la salle. Par contre, j'ai beaucoup aimé les décors et la réalisation est quand même assez intéressante par moment. Le scénario est plutôt ambitieux et plus sérieux que prévu. Et tout ce qui a trait à la policière, sans donner de spoiler, c'est vraiment... Quand le film devient trop intense et sérieux, c'est là qu'on me perd. On voulait un film léger, le fun et divertissant. Les 20 dernières minutes sont longues, je me disais dans ma tête « Wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up ». Five Nights at Freddy's aurait pu être bien mieux. C'est un divertissement correct qui va sûrement avoir un bon succès au box-office vu son timing parfait avec l'Halloween et son super marketing. Ça dure 1h49 et je lui donne 2 étoiles et demie sur 5. Et avant de te laisser, oublie pas de t'abonner parce que dans les prochains jours, je vais avoir plein de critiques de films incluant celles pour Priscilla, le nouveau Hunger Games et The Marvels. La creepypasta de Five Nights at Freddy's Unos aterradores animatrónicos con forma de animales que están malditos y que por las noches cobran vida para hacer cosas horribles Jueves de creepypasta Hello, we. mi nombre es Annie Martínez Entre los años 80 y 90 en Estados Unidos se hicieron muy populares las pizzerías con temáticas para niños. La más popular de todas era Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Este lugar utilizaba sorprendentes animatrónicos de última tecnología con personajes con forma de animales. Eran muy carismáticos y sus nombres eran Freddy Fazbear. Bonnie de Bonnie, Chica de Chicken y Foxy de Pirate Fox. Esta pizzería era el sueño de todos los niños, o sea, no había ni un solo niño que no quisiera pasar su cumpleaños en ese lugar. Era como, wow, necesito pasar mi cumpleaños ahí, papá, por favor. <risa> un día, un hombre llamado William Afton solicitó trabajo como guardia de seguridad en la pizzería. Este hombre acababa de cumplir una condena de muchos años en prisión por haber mandado al otro mundo a un niño. O sea, ¿cómo va a buscar trabajo en un lugar donde había 
eran niños, seguramente era un psicópata y seguramente iba en busca de otro niño. El gerente del lugar no sabía del pasado de aquel hombre y lo contrató. Eso fue un grave error, el peor error de su vida. Apenas William empezó a trabajar como guardia de seguridad en la pizzería, comenzaron a suceder extrañas desapariciones de niños en la ciudad. Nadie sabía qué es lo que estaba pasando, dónde estaban los niños, estaban todos preocupados. Pero un día el gerente de la pizzería sintió un olor extraño que provenía de los animatrónicos. Enseguida el hombre los revisó y se dio cuenta que dentro de los muñecos estaban los cuerpos desplazados de los niños que habían desaparecido. Inmediatamente el gerente llamó a la policía y cuando ellos llegaron confirmaron el terrible crimen. Se hizo todo lo que tenían que hacer y luego de una fuerte investigación llegaron al responsable. William Afton. El asesino fue detenido y fue condenado a pena de muerte. Lo peor es que nada iba a hacer que los niños regresen a la vida, ni siquiera quitándole la suya. Lamentablemente, por todo lo que había sucedido, la pizzería cerró sus puertas por mucho tiempo. Sin embargo, siempre hay un loco. Después de un tiempo, un empresario que cuando era niño le encantaba ir a ese lugar, decidió comprar la franquicia y reabrir de nuevo ese restaurante o esa pizzería. Y ustedes dirán, ¿qué tiene de malo eso? Pues lo malo no es comprar la pizzería. Lo malo es que utilizó los mismos animatrónicos donde habían encontrado los cuerpos de los niños de asados en su pizzería. Díganme si eso no es estar loco. Claro que eso no se lo dijo a nadie y le hizo creer a todas las personas que eran animatrónicos nuevos para que nadie tuviera miedo. ¿Les está gustando esta creepypasta? ¿Les está dando miedo para que suba una parte 2?